it's about a hundred degrees and it's about two o'clock on Saturday and I decided it's a good idea to come fishing because nobody else would be here. <laughs> I take all my flies, put them on my hat, I put a Gatorade in one pocket, a bottle of water in the other, I got my fly rod, my classic fly rod, and we go for a walk down the road to the pond or to the stock tank. It's going to be very interesting to see if this tank has any water in it. It's been about three weeks since I've been out here. I've got some flies to test. As long as I keep enough liquid in me, I'll be all right. Then again, it's only a short walk to the car. So, but welcome to Fish Tales. Let's see what we can catch today in the 100 degree heat of the middle of the day. Crazy. cows underneath that tree. <laughs> I don't know what the guy says. They're resting. Chances are the fish are going to be resting too, but it's all right. I know they got nothing to eat here. They're probably going to come take a look at me and see if I got anything. There's a cara cara. Some people call that a Mexican eagle. <laughs> Cows are getting restless. Seeing who the heck's out here. Just me. Got nothing for you. Oh, there's still water in here. Moo cow. Oh, man. I'm wearing shorts today and I'm probably gonna regret that. I've been all over the place out in the woods. I'm probably gonna get covered up in chiggers. I hope not. I hope it's so dry there ain't no chiggers either. We're gonna find out. There's the water. Normally this is up to my neck. Yeah, look at that. This lake is down a whole bunch. And go all the way out to that point, which there ought to be some fish out there. It's two feet lower than it was the last time I was here. We're almost that much lower. I'm going to test out some dragonflies. I'm glad to see there's still plenty of them buzzing around. It ought to work. That's what I ought to be doing. That cow's got the right idea. Before you know it, all ten of them will be in there. I don't blame them. They live out here. They gotta stay cool. Well, there we go. That didn't take long. It's not a dragonfly. I got a double rig on I was using Monday. Uh, but that worked. <laughs> I caught him head and tail. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Nice fish to start the day. There's my dragonfly imitator. And there's tons of dragonflies flying around here. Ain't no shortage of dragonflies. They're all over the place. On every stick. And that's what the fish are coming after. See that right there? That fish just jumped up to get a dragonfly. So let's give it a shot. See what happens.
Well, the fly finally got destroyed, but it wasn't from the fish. It's from catching these things behind me. See how tall they are? This thing is hell to cast with this. But it's okay, I got more flies. I'm gonna tie on another one. These fish are jumping all over the place because you can see there's dragonflies all over the place. Hundreds of them. Flying all over the place. I tied on another version of my dragonfly. That's a monotail made out of monofilament. It's a tough fly, but didn't have any takers. I think I had them all spooked. By that time, I had been out all day. I got an early start and I was pretty well spent. So I packed it in, headed to the house. Hey, thanks for watching. Y'all be good. Bye.